Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw canopic jars from ancient Egypt. And I probably said that wrong. We're going to take two fingers in the center underneath and put a dot. And this is what we're drawing. We're drawing Q, E, B, E, H, S, E, N, U, E, F. That's the name of it, which I cannot pronounce. But it was the head of a falcon that held the intestines when we were, not we, but when the Egyptians did their mummies. Okay, so I'm putting all that info up on top. You all can look it up. Now let's go back to our dot. From our dot going towards the left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line down on the left. Come back to the dot, a slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left, we're just going to draw a little straight diagonal in on the left, a little straight diagonal in on the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a pretty good size curve line up, over, up, connect. Okay? Come right above right about here and we're just going to draw a curve line in come underneath mimic it curve line in right here where we stop we're going to draw a curve line over come back to the left straight diagonal down straight diagonal up connect now we can complete our curve line up on the right mimic it again curve line up on the right again Come back to the left. Right about here, we're going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. We're going to put a little curve line inside, connect, jump over, straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect, inside, a little curve line, connect. Come in the center and put one, two little dots. Okay, now come down over here on the left and we're going to draw straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, little straight line over, straight line up, little straight line over, straight line down, little straight line in and stop. Come over here on the right hand side we're going to do a straight line in, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down, over, straight line up, over, connect. Okay? Come all the way back up to the top right here at this corner and draw me a curved line down on the left. Come on the opposite side on the right curve line down on the right. Come back to the left, join the two with a slightly curved line up, connect. Now come on the left hand side and draw one, two, three curve lines down. Come on the right hand side, draw me one, two, three curve lines down. Now come back over here to the left and we're going to draw a straight diagonal down, slightly curved line over, come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, slightly curved line over and connect. Now I'm going to write canopic, C-A-N-O-P-I-C. And I'm going to put jars because there's going to be more than one. Okay? Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. 
Okay, I'm going to color the base part of my jar using a light brown. And I'm going to color. It's almost like this is the body of my drawing. All the way up. Come over here on the right and do this section and this section on the left and come in the inside and do this section. Now, I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of a tan, but you can use a light, use your brown and use a light color. Okay, so this is the base part of your body. Now, I take my orange and I'm going to color my falcon head eyebrows, my beak, and my chinny chin chin. That's what this section is. All the way up and over. Okay, I'm going to use black. Color the inside of my eyes black. And the outside, I'm going to use orange. Now, just for a pop of color, this is my own addition. I'm going to use turquoise, blue-green, because they had faience, which was a blue-green color in ancient Egypt times. And then I'm just going to use my brown, just for a pop of color. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my canopic jar all colored in. This is the one that held the intestines. Here's the name. And it is the head of a falcon. Okay, bye-bye.